So now let's extract sigma x along this uh, line here, or path as ANSYS calls it. So highlight solution in the tree and select stress normal. And I'll rename that object as sigma x along line. And so it's normal stress in the x direction. Um, but scoping method, instead of plotting it over the geometry, I want to plot it for a path. Okay, and then under what path, I have only one that I've defined that shows up. So I'm going to plot sigma x for the line on front face and solve. Okay, so that gives me the variation of sigma x along that line and shows me the, the minimum and maximum values. And if I bring up the tabular data, which might appear by default, and in fact, let me also bring up the graph. Okay, and let me expand this. And so I see I get a linear variation or nearly a linear variation, which is what I expect. And I have the corresponding values here and I can export it into Excel. So I'll say right click, export, and <clears throat> I will select Excel. I can go to my working folder and give it an appropriate name. Okay. So now I have an Excel file and I can use the data in the Excel file to make a plot uh, to compare the hand calculation value versus what I expect from uh, what I'm getting from ANSYS. So I'll pin this and I will go back to the isometric view. I can zoom out um, and I will save the project.